everyone, I have some bad news for you. The market is going to crash every single day. I'm trying to warn you guys, there's gonna be a huge market crash every single day. In fact, I am gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove it by showing you, we have YouTube videos that I see that pop up every day claiming a market crash. Look at this one. This was released two weeks ago and has over 700,000 views saying there's gonna be an 84% crash. 84%, I mean, get your money out while you still can. We have others like this saying, this is gonna be worse than 2008. Really? That's, I mean, I don't wanna keep my money in the stock market if it's gonna crash worse than 2008. Uh, here's one, 260,000 views a month ago, 90% crash coming very soon, guys. Uh, here we go, Look at, we got another one here saying that there's gonna be a 21, 2021 stock market crash. This was posted just one day ago, uh, 635 views. And then we have one saying there's gonna be a big stock market crash. In fact, it already started just four days ago, already 30,000 views. Guys, of course I'm joking here, but what I'm trying to say is there are videos that you could literally find posted every day about people trying to predict the next stock market crash. The sky is always falling every single day. There's a video saying the market's gonna crash, the market's gonna crash, the market's gonna crash. What is even more comical to me is, you know, you'll have a, like a 1% decline in the stock market and people call that a crash. 1%, that's, that's movement. That's not, that's not a correction, that's not a crash. That's just movement. And yet, what is this doing to people? You know, it's filling their heads and I think it's preventing a lot of people from putting their money into the stock market or keeping more money on the sidelines than they should because people buy into this. People buy into the stock market crashing. Now let's look at something here that I wanna show you guys. Let's see how, how much the stock market has crashed. Remember, I've been investing for about a year and a half now and I can tell you just about every day that I've invested, I've seen a video posted about a stock market crash, but I've ignored it. Why? Because I know that's BS. I, I'm smarter than that and I know you guys are too, but let's just look at some stuff here. So we have the S&P 500. Uh, over the last year, it's gone up 36%, 36%. So if you believe in these videos where the market's gonna crash every day and you're waiting on the sidelines until you start seeing positive videos, you missed out on 36%. Uh, let's look at the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is up 30, almost 32%. Again, would, do you think waiting on the sidelines and listening to these people that are posting the sky is falling every day, there's gonna be a crash, is a good thing to do? Absolutely not. And I think they're doing a disservice to people and I'm making this video, yes, I'm having that tagline as a headline because I want people to watch this and know that you're going to hear that throughout your whole investing career and it's going to be thrown at you every single day, if not on YouTube, on different social medias, on the news. I'm here to tell you that if you look at statistics, only a crash will happen every once in eight years, every eight years on average. But yet people are predicting it daily. And it just, it's kind of humorous because um, it is clickbait, right? So people, people like to hear bad news. Uh, people want an excuse to click on something, which is why I think these get so many views. But it's amazing to me on how many people think that they can predict a stock market crash. The, the fact of it is nobody can predict what the stock market is going to do at all. Not the best of the best. Um, so what I've done is I've put my money into the market consistently. People are saying, oh, you know, it's gone up too fast. There's gonna be a correction. There's gonna be a crash. Maybe, but I doubt it. Look at the economy. It's roaring back up. People are dying to get out and travel. That's no, that's not a sign of a market crash to me. Uh, you know, houses are going like, like hotcakes. Uh, people are now getting out like they've never gone out before because they've been cooped up for a year and a half and it's time. 
I can't tell you how many friends and family I know that are traveling. They are booking those flights, those hotels, the amusement parks. I see it everywhere. But yeah, people are predicting a market crash. Give me a break. Uh, sometimes you gotta step out of that box, step back a few feet, and look at the big picture, okay? Um, now, that's not to say that there can't be some type of correction. That's not to say that it's gonna continue on the roar that it's been going, we don't know. But I'm just saying, look at the big picture, look at what the economy's doing. Uh, you know, there is this new variant, shall we say, uh, but I don't think we're gonna go back to a time where things are closed. You know, if anything, there might be another mask mandate or something like that, but I, you know, people have had enough and they're getting out there and they're having a good time, including myself. Um, of course, you want to be careful, take precautions. I'm not saying to go out there and, and take risks or anything like that, but just look at the, look at people around you. Look what they're doing. Restaurants are packed. Malls are packed. Everything's packed again because people are dying to get out. Go on, dri just driving on the road. The roads are packed. Is that the sign that an economy is going to crash? I don't think so. Again, I can't predict. Maybe something will trigger it. But my point is, if you're waiting to get into the stock market because of all this, you know, this huge amount of YouTubers and people trying to predict there's going to be a crash every single day, and you're sitting there saying, oh man, I better not, or oh, I have all this money, I better not invest it, you're missing out on a lot of gains. And with inflation as, it, as high as it is, if you're putting your money just in a bank, you're losing money. Inflation's at 5% now. Are you earning 5% in your bank account? No, you're not. Um, the best place to put your money right now is in the stock market. And let's play devil's advocate. Let's say a crash does happen. What do you do? You buy more stocks. <laughs> They're on sale. If you're investing in good companies, then you're given an opportunity. You're given an opportunity to buy it at cheap prices. So, you know, if if you're just somebody that follows these YouTubers and goes off of some post and buys some stock that you don't even know what it's about, then you're setting yourself up for some trouble. But if you're doing your research, investing in good, solid companies, and you know, putting your money in that stock market that's been growing. And over the history of the stock market, you take any 20 year period, it's never gone down. You're really missing out on some really good opportunity for wealth. And you know, some people, uh, whether you put in, it into an ETF, which is a lot safer, you know, someone kind of manages it for you. It's a basket of stocks. It's a lot safer. Or if you put into individual companies, uh, I'm going to give you an example. I, I was watching a YouTube video the other day and someone made a very good point. Somebody was saying that, you know, putting your money into Microsoft um, and, and other stocks, you know, it's more risky because you have to sit there and evaluate it and this and that. It's not as hard as you think, okay? If you put your money in a good company like Microsoft, I guarantee you their management is doing a way better of a job than I ever could at keeping that business going and really, uh, you know, setting up a great future for it. And so I'm betting that they're going to do a better job than I am, but I know it's a solid company. I know it's financials. I know it's leadership. I know it's history. I know, you know, you see where they're wanting to go in the future. If you invest in good companies, you're doing yourself justice and you're going to be doing great um, with the future of your money. Um, so the stock market, like I said, has a crash on average every one of eight years. We just had one a year ago. And to say it's going to crash, I've heard it's gonna crash since I started investing. I mean, it was every single day, but I chose to stay the course, invest regularly, and let's see how that's done for me, okay? So if we look at my portfolio overall, in a year and a half of investing, of not being scared and getting into the market, I've made 22.81%. I've made a gain of 22.81% of my money that I've invested. And let me tell you what, if I would have listened to those videos, if I would have not have, you know, had the common sense to be like, well, people are crying wolf every day. You know, the stock market, nobody can predict it. I would have missed out on $4,800 of profit. 
And so I think these people that are, you know, wanting this clickbait and stuff, I think it's a disjustice to people out there. They're preventing people from investing. You know, they're just wanting those quick clicks and views. And I'm here to tell you that it's a good option and opportunity to create really good wealth for you in the future. Now, out of my, gosh, I probably have 20 some companies and ETFs. There's only one company that is in the red for me. And I bet you guys can guess it if you've been following me, but that is AT&T. Now, of course, AT&T has had big news happen in the last, what, four months or whatever. You know, they're getting rid of their HBO Max and they're cutting their dividend in half. A lot of stuff has happened, which has caused it to go down. I'm down uh, five and a half percent, a little over five and a half percent, creeping up on six percent. But I am not freaking out and I'm not selling out of this. And I'm not saying there's a right or wrong reason. You guys have to always do your research and be solid in your choices. But if you watched my video last time, I think the management is doing a good job of, uh, you know, they've had some bad decisions in the past. They're getting rid of those bad decisions. They're going to focus on their telecommunications. And I think they're going to do a great job at that. And I think I'm willing to stick into it, uh, you know, because I think they're going to focus on paying down their debt, improving their telecommunications, 5G, all that stuff, being a market leader. And I want to be a part of that. Not only that, but I'm going to get shares of the new company. And I think that company is going to do great. So I'm excited. So I'm not selling out and I'm not knocking you if you do. I think you can make a great case either way. Uh, but I really would bet that, you know, I'm going to put in little by little. I'm not going to put a lot of money anymore into AT&T because I think there, you know, things could happen where, hey, some news could pop up where maybe I might sell. But as of right now, seeing what they're doing, I'm willing to stick it out. And I want to say, I bet you after the, the roll off of HBO, and seeing that their debt goes down and all that stuff, I bet you this will be in the green at a, at a healthy amount. And I could be wrong, but that's my prediction. So I'm willing to stick on to it. Again, I've done my research, right? I always promote that. And I think it's going to really um, be still a solid choice for an investment. And the dividend is still gonna be a healthy dividend even after they cut it in half. But now hopefully there'll be some growth attached to that that'll make up for it in the future. Uh, so with all that said, uh, let's look at also I do dividend, a lot of dividend companies, you know, investing in dividend companies. Uh, it's been about six months out of the year now, so I want to give an update, uh, but let's look at it. Okay. Last year, all of last year, that's when I first started investing, I made $330 and 50 cents in dividends. So far in the first you know, six months, if we just put it to June, I beat that in six months. And I'm already at $363.90. Um, so I'm hoping to get close to doubling what I made last year in dividends. And, you know, it just goes to show you that not only is did my portfolio grow by 22% or whatever it was, but I'm making dividends and I'm reinvesting them. And that's helping that snowball effect of, you know, uh, growing my money and so I wanted to make this video because I think a lot of people get caught up sometimes in those headlines and it makes you think twice and it makes you be like oh maybe I should not invest maybe I should wait for a month or two or but when you start to get into that habit of things then you're not gonna start investing anymore you're just gonna sit on the sidelines you're gonna forget about it you're gonna get too scared and then if you see the market does go up you're gonna be like I already messed out in the gains but then guess what there's gonna be more gains my point being is, I still think the best rule for investing is to invest regularly and often in good solid companies, both a mixture of dividend and growth stocks, and let the rest do it for you. Don't listen to the noise because that will drive you insane. Instead, if there is a crash or correction, guess what? Those companies that you love and invest in are now on sale more money into them um, so I really hope this just just helps reel things back in for people I think it's easy to get caught up in this clickbait society we're in and people you know put these heavy headlines up and freak people out and 
but I think that's horrible because it's preventing people from creating wealth for themselves. And, and I see certain YouTubers even make these videos so often, I feel like saying, a crash has not happened and you've been crying wolf about it for a year now. Uh, so when is this crash that you're gonna happen? Is When is this crash gonna happen that you've been crying about for a year now? So, so invest smartly, invest regularly, and you're gonna build a nice, awesome nest egg for yourself in the future and you're gonna thank yourself now and then and beyond so i hope you guys uh take all this into consideration i'd love to hear your thoughts on you know do you listen to the noise do you let it get to you we're all human right i've i've let it make me second guess before but luckily i shake that off and i think of the big picture and that's what i think you all should do and it ends up making me solid and continuing to invest and it has done well for me because if I would have stopped investing for any point in time I would have missed some gains a lot of gains actually because um, these companies that I believe in invest in all go up like I said I only have one company in the red out of all of those and if a crash happened and half my companies go in the red then I have a really good sell that is going on that I can um, make up for when the economy goes back up but I think our, econ our economy is in a great place right now. So again, I think it's all noise. Uh, regardless though, if you invest in good companies, you're gonna be fine. Uh, so with that said, guys, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I look forward to the next video. Uh, always comment if there's anything you want me to you know, do a video on, whether it's financial or fitness, I'd be happy to do that. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.